Buckle up, Cowboys, and welcome to Monday Morning Live. Like Saturday Night Live, but earlier and not as funny. I'm your host, Jacob Warren. Today, we will be discussing the political bromance between Kanye West and President Trump. Kanye's support for Trump has, been, has always been obvious with his presence on Twitter. He has posted many controversial tweets, and recently, many people have been questioning his reasoning and even mental health. The 41-year-old rapper was recently diagnosed with bipolar depression and reportedly has been off his meds. Many people are confused by his apparent love for Donald Trump. In this recent tweet, he said he supported the abolishment of the 13th Amendment. He said, this represents good in America becoming whole again. We will no longer outsource to other countries. We will build factories here in America and create jobs. We will provide jobs for all who are free from prisons as we abolish the 13th Amendment. Message sent with love, end quote. He later tried to dial back his idea, which just made him seem more confusing. Now, let me introduce our guest for today, Moret, a student at Montgomery Blair High School. Uh, hello, Moret. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So, how do you feel about what Kanye has been saying? Jacob, imagine being a black man and trying to remove the one thing that protects your liberty. That is just don't add up. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine the backlash he is receiving from the African American community. Do you think his explanation that he does not support everything that Trump does is enough? No, it isn't. He's attacking everything that the African American community has been working for. Take a tweet about Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick, you cannot just go and talk about talk to the man that said there are fine people on both sides at a white supremacist rally. Kanye, honey, it's not that simple. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're making some really strong arguments here. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Kanye wants to talk about how the 13th Amendment is modern slavery. What he's doing is like saying yes to the master, who in this case is Donald Trump. Thank you for coming, Moran. No problem. Glad I have the opportunity to talk about my community without dragging them through the mud. Kanye has come out with many strong opinions about President Trump and race. But what does Kim and her family have to say about these comments? Kim Kardashian has supported Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. Despite disagreeing with President Trump, she stood by Kanye with his support for the president, and she has also used her connection with President Trump for good. She acknowledges that she has the president's attention and plans to use that power to her advantage. Good. Next, after the break, we'll discuss this Kanye West situation with former President Barack Obama. That should be interesting. Hope you hang around, folks.